UMAR is a nonprofit in Western North Carolina whose mission is to promote community inclusion, independence, and growth for adults with developmental and intellectual disabilities. We have 24 group homes, nine apartments, three art centers, day programs, and vocational services. UMAR is a nice place to live and work. They, everybody gets along with each other. I lived at UMAR for 27 years. I love where I live. UMAR is stability. It's an independent growth and having that spiritual strength and guidance. To me, that's what UMAR stands for. UMAR really helps its participants uh, think about what their goals are and actually make them something that's realistic and that can be achieved. And they help them through all the steps to get there and really help them become as independent as they really can be. And it's something we see them um, excel at every, uh, every day. In our jobs, we see participants take more steps towards being independent. Humor is very special to those who really need it. And the goal is to achieve their abilities to continue to grow in the UMAR family like I have. Art is important for our participants because it provides them with another way of communicating. Art can be seen as a communication tool, as a way for us to learn how to express and connect with one another and also get a realization of what's important to you. After you make a piece of art, you kind of reflect a little bit and see, okay, you know, what am I about as a person? Why am I here and what do I have to give? We're not just doing art for art's sake, it's not an activity, it's, uh, it's a means to communicate. If I think about it, if I lived at home with, with my mom, I may never learn to cook. I may never do my own laundry, you know, but when they come here, they learn to do these things for themselves and they take pride in it. And so, um, you know, when they go home, we get parents and say, she cooked dinner for us and it was so neat. So I think they, we help them reach potential that sometimes the families maybe didn't even realize that they had. I feel like the, the group home creates so many opportunities for them um, that they wouldn't have otherwise. Right, so UMAR is providing this day support service and they're also pro providing this vocational service and the two work hand in hand. And sometimes we see a transition from those at day support to going to vocational services or have a healthy balance of both, having a job somewhere and also attending day support for the socialization and uh, community networking that day support provides. Um, Kenna, who is a part of, who's on the board for Charlotte Green, you know, just things like that that we, you know, are able to plug them in places or get them involved in things and then they flourish there, they meet people. UMAR matters because it is taking the time to get to know individuals who have a lot to offer and helping them contribute to society and to feel fulfilled and to have a purpose in life. It's a place that allows them to be down, who accepts them for who they are, that loves them for who they are today but wants them better tomorrow. UMAR gets to walk with these people who, yes, have disabilities, but they are people who are so much more than that. They are funny, smart, and creative people. People who like me. People like me. Like me. People like me. I like me. People like me. They like me. me. People like me. And me. People like me.